Royals, what's going on? We got another, we got another early one here for you. So, um, this one actually, I'm not, I'm not like a connoisseur of the silhouette, but I will say, I was very curious as to what this particular colorway looks like in hand. I can't even lie. So I'm very much curious. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, so we can explore this thing together. All right. Here's the box. Jordan Brand, as you can see it from the infamous, the famous, the uh, the most recognizable brand probably there is uh, for a sneaker brand. I actually like how it has kind of that. Um, this sort of silver imprint there um, surrounded around kind of a matte gray finish in a circular shape nothing serious around the box per se so just a normal box here's the details baby you're doing 14 retro kaya we have here the air jordan 14 gray Okay, um, now for the um, color warriors out there, the co color uh, ninjas and um, officials, it's listed as flint gray and stealth white. Uh, for my Latin friends, Gris Pierre, Blanc, Stealth. All right, we covered that. See, I get out my comments talking mess. The reason why I said this was this was one of those ones that had me like real curious um, to kind of see what they look like in hand it was so because with it being an all gray shoe, which to me, I think most Jordan brand silhouettes actually work in this gray. Okay, I don't think it's just restricted to let's say, for instance, um, threes and elevens. Um, I, I think that you can pull off pretty much any Jordan in this gray colorway. So I wanted to see, and so far, what I'm, what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing is just different textures. So on that toe. You can see that nappy suede texture there. Um, on the upper, it's more of a short haired suede. Uh, it's not necessarily, it's not switching directions on us. So lateral, medial. So it's just, just a generic short hair suede. Um, you can even call it new buck. On the heel, it has a couple different textures of gray there. All right, got that darker gray on the foundation. Got that lighter gray on the jump man in the 23. Then on the tongue, more gray. This is just all grayed out, man. It's all grayed out. So, has that short um, font. And then it has kind of that speckled sort of mesh tongue on it, that dark gray. But also more gray. <laughs> but yeah, so it's kind of that dark gray, kind of get like a silver or like a metallic sort of texture um, going into the middle right there. And you can see it's continuation in that midsole as well. So it looks like they hit that jump man with white as well as that Roman numeral there. So uh, March 20th, 210 bucks. And y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, for me, I wasn't exact. I'll tell you the first thing. I wasn't expecting the um, nappy hair suede. I will say that. I was not expecting the nappy hair suede. In the pictures, it didn't necessarily look like that to me. It looked like a shifty suede, but I was not expecting the nappy hair. I'll say that. So, um, does that throw it off for me? Um, I have to say yes, but it is a still, it is still a decent colorway, right? Um, a gray, you can't really lose with it. It's super functional. Um, to me, this falls in line similarly to a color like a, a navy blue. You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot of different things with the shoe this colorway. Um, I think this is no exception, so you'll definitely be able to get your money's worth with this one. You don't have to wait for it to be a sunny day, you know. Um, you can just go ahead and rock these joints and um, and be fresh, man. Y'all hit me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thinking about these. Uh, like I said, it's definitely, if you are a gray, dark gray, flint gray um, sneaker head, 
This is this the one. This the one. So easy, easy choice. Easy, easy choice. All right, man. So let me get on up out of here. Y'all hit that comment section. Let me know what y'all think. And um, until next time, <laughs> royalty. <laughs>